Hi, I'm Dr. Sid with Scoli's Smart NYC. Scoliosis is a lot more than a spinal curve. The curve is just the most visible symptom of a whole body condition. One of the most important and overlooked parts of scoliosis is bone density. It directly affects how a curve behaves over time. Up to one third of teenagers with scoliosis already have low bone density in osteopenia, even before adulthood. As we age, especially women going through menopause, hormone changes accelerate bone loss. This can dramatically influence scoliosis progression. When bone becomes weak enough, it creates a feed-forward cycle. Weaker bone leads to faster curve progression, which puts even more stress on weakened structures. If bone density loss isn't identified and addressed, no amount of curve treatment will stabilize the spine. The foundation simply isn't strong enough. We can evaluate bone density using a traditional DEXA scan or through non-invasive functional tests like a urine DPD crosslink test. These tests show whether bone density is stable or declining. That information lets us build a plan to stop and sometimes reverse the loss. We don't always need dramatic rebuilding, but we must stop the decline because stabilizing bone is one of the foundations of stabilizing the curve. For adults with scoliosis, treating the spine without treating bone density is incomplete. Both must be managed for the best long-term outcome. Scoliosis care has to address the curve and the bone structure supporting it. That's how we create long-term stability. Scoliosis doesn't progress in a vacuum. Bone density and hormone health play a major role in how a curve behaves over time. If you want a treatment plan that strengthens the structure and stabilizes the curve, we can help you get there.